Hi guys and welcome back to my channel in the year with O'Hare. So uh, as you can tell, yes, this is another unboxing video. Um, and this one I'm, I've already, well, I've, before I get to that, I've already removed the packaging slip and just opened it up. Uh, I did not see the model, but I know uh, I'm just really, uh, let's just get into it. This is really exciting. Uh, so on December um, 15, 2019, um, as some of you may or may not know, I don't know exactly, uh, but uh, on December 15th um, th of this year, uh, 2019, um, Qantas uh, launched a program or their test flight um, from London to Sydney, and it, uh, was the, I think one of the longest flights, uh, ever, and it was 19 hours, and I think a couple minutes or so, and, um, the same flight, uh, well, the path that it flew, uh, it took, a hundred years ago, it took, um, about, I think it was 28 days, I believe, and so, um, this project that they are launching or doing test flights for is called the Sunrise Project. And the reason why it's called the Sunrise Project is because uh, there's double sunrises uh, that you'll see on the flight. The other flight that they're uh, trying to uh, do, they're doing test flights for currently is from uh, New York to Sydney and that's like a full non-stop flight so they're testing those routes for this project project sunrise and so the model that i have in front of me right now is from the december 15th flight uh the very first test flight from um uh from uh, uh london to to Sydney so uh, there's a packaging slip so I'm just gonna take that out and don't really need the box there so here it is um, I when I heard about this and just like the story and the history of this uh, Qantas is about to turn a hundred as well it's uh, one of those flights that uh, launched their special livery so here it is and this uh, like I said so this um, is uh, uh, the model based from the very first test flight from London to Sydney. So as uh, so, it is the Jet on my Jets. So let's just uh, get into it. So the top of the box, or the flap, and whatever you want to call it, uh, Jet on my Jets logo made for collectors by collectors uh, trademark. And you have uh, image of the aircraft, a uh, computer generated image, um, Quant uh, Qantas logo. Sorry, down there, Boeing seven eight seven dash nine. Uh, 100 uh, uh, celebrating 100 years so from 1920 to 2020 so in 2020 uh, this coming uh, year uh, they'll be turning um, 100 and so there's the little uh, look inside kind of thing and this is the flap 1 400 scale die cast uh, model aircraft and then opening the flap you have just like this open thing to see the or a window, I guess I'll open a window uh, to see the aircraft. And then at the top, like in Genomite Jets fashion, you have uh, the Boeing 787-900 trademark logo there. And uh, just the livery information. So uh, Qantas 7879 um, registration is Victor, um, Hercules, Zulo, uh, Nancy, Jack. Uh, so that's V H Z N H, and then engines, the type of engines on the actual aircraft, uh, maximum takeoff weight, cruising speed, range, uh, seating, and um, so here are the specs for uh, the like the actual size of the aircraft. So length, height, and then you got uh, wingspan. And then just a um, little information about Qantas and uh, just their 100 years there. Uh, so you can um, 
pause to read if you wanted to do that. And then, uh, so there's the model. And going to the right hand side, you have Jenna by Jet's logo, uh, item number, um, one four hundred scale diecast model, image of the aircraft, Boeing seven eight seven dash nine trademark. And then at the top, you have Jenna by Jet's logo, barcode, adult collectible model. Uh, warning: contains small parts, unsuitable for children under fourteen years. Oh, there you go. And then going to the left hand side. You have the barcode, which was is covered by my finger, and uh, that is covering the Genomite Jets logo. It's the same as the right hand side. So, uh, one four hundred scale uh, diecast model, item number, image of the aircraft, Boeing seven eight seven dash nine trademark. And then going to the bottom, you have as real as it gets. So that's the trademark um, saying of Genomite Jets. Uh, and their logo there, image of the aircraft uh, in uh, climb, uh, computer generated image, sorry, and uh, just a little bit information about Genomite Jets right here, uh, you have all the legal information, uh, trademarks and all that, uh, so Qantas, Boeing of course, and then uh, it's a 2019 model there, uh, Genomite Jets information and then just like their Facebook and all that if you guys want to just pause to read that and pause to read about Genomite Jets there and made in China and yeah that's about it so let's just take a look at the model now I'm really excited because I've been waiting for this uh, release uh, now I got this like few weeks ago so I just been really busy so I wasn't able to do an unboxing video so that's why I'm doing it now um, and uh, this video will probably be released sometime in 2020 so um, yeah happy early birthday Qantas and then whenever this video does come out happy birthday again <laughs> so I just removed um, the plastic a uh, piece of plastic film here to just that's protecting the model and then there's the one at the bottom just gonna gently take the model out there and uh, close this up and put this in here now this is my uh, second and uh, Probably only legit kind of uh, model Qantas because I do have a, 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 a A380, but it's by uh, Darren Wings, and Darren Wings is just like a low key kind of cheap version uh, of uh, die cast models. So, anyway, let's just uh, take a look at this. So, um, starting from you guys, the le uh, left hand side, you have um, the cockpit windows, very good uh, detail on the dome there. Um, you have the Qantas logo and uh, 100 uh, logo there. And then you have Qantas and oh, and the One World logo as well, right there. Front emergency exits. Um, and you have an, the front antenna as well. Um, engines, like always, very detailed. There's the landing light right there. Um, now these engines you can't uh, see through. Um, so, but it's still very detailed. I know you guys can't see it on camera. Um, slats and um, flaps and sp uh, Spoiler, speed brakes, all very detailed. Uh, engine very detailed. It's got the... Hold on. I think it just has the Quant uh, a version of the Quantum's logo there. Uh, you have the red landing light there. And then going towards the back, so you have all these previous uh, Quanta's... Um, all their previous logos right here. So 
all the way back from when they you know started off to now and that would be that one and then you have uh, it says so you had the mer uh, rear emergency exits and the new Qantas colors uh, with that gray there and it says uh, Qantas the capsule towards uh, 20 uh, sorry 2120 and then you have the Australian flag and the registration is Victor, Hercules, Zulo, Nancy, and uh, Jack there. And then it says NG on, whoop, on the tail there. Um, very detailed. You can uh, see. Well, I know you guys can't see it fully on camera, but right there, uh, the rudder is very detailed. The elevators are detailed. The empennage is detailed. Uh, like always, Genomite Jet's one of the top uh, um, manufacturers here. So, going to the right hand side, pretty much the same thing. You got the front emergency exits, Qantas logo, 100 logo, uh, the Qantas symbol there. Um, and then you have the front cargo door bay, um, wings again, very detailed, engine very detailed. You have the green landing light right here, and then you have all the previous um, logos of Qantas. And then you have the rear antennas as well, rear emergency exits, and you have the rear cargo door bay, which is right there. And uh, you have the registration, which I'm not going to read again. Um, and then it says... Same thing, Qantas, the capsule toward 2120, and Australian flag, and yeah, that's about it. Uh, there's nothing much on the top, as you can see, it's just, uh, there. there's no radar dome on, on this one, uh, like there usually is on some Dreamliner models of Genomite Jets, but it does have the antenna, so I do like that. Um, the gears are not fully rolling, the nose gear is, uh, like, just put, um, just, like, stuck there, kind of. Uh, the rear, or the main landing gears do roll, uh, so I like that. Uh, there's the hole for the stand, you have the 100 logo there, um, Genomite Jets logo in black. Oh, sorry, it looks black, but it's not, it's, uh... It's their uh, Genomite Jets colors. And then um, you can see the uh, bay doors here. And uh, uh, compared to NG, the, uh, f like the flap indications um, at the bottom, not very detailed. Uh, there's a registration again. Um, but that's it's okay. Uh, so I really... I'm um, really um, happy for Qantas. Um, that was uh, like a very her um, historic and interesting uh, um, news there. Uh, and I believe this one is called the Long Reach. Oh, I missed something here. So underneath where it says uh, Qantas the capsule towards... Uh, 2120 is uh, there's the Qantas website slash 100 so Qantas.com slash 100 and uh, I believe yeah it is called the long reach but I can't seem to find the name I think it's uh, right there under their logo uh, at the front right here uh, I know you guys can see and even I can see it yeah so this is uh, called the long reach eh? uh, so that's it for this video, um, make sure to smash that like button, comment down below, subscribe uh, if you haven't already, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a video, and uh, this is just a really exciting, um, I I'm glad to own, uh, I, I guess in a way, uh, own a, a symbol of uh, historic flight. Uh, the double sunrise long reach uh, aircraft um, and just that route hopefully it seems uh, that 
the test the first test fight was very successful um, there's a youtuber I watch uh, who who was on that fight and he did a video uh, he does blogs as well and so I won't uh, link uh, the his blog but I'll link the video down below so you guys can uh, just see how that historic flight uh, planned out and uh, just what happened uh, during that flight like uh, all the um, information uh, is very interesting so I recommend uh, you check that video out um, and uh, until then see you in the next video